Hello guys, it's Akakwa here and welcome to another video. So in this video, we're going to be comparing the Huawei Nova 5T and the Samsung Galaxy A71. These devices are both great devices. You're going to see what they both have to offer and which one will be best for you. Before you get to the video, if you're new to this channel, I highly recommend that you hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you get notified the next time I upload a video. Let's get to the video. To begin with, let's get some background out of the way. The Samsung Galaxy A71 and Huawei Nova 5T were both announced in 2019, in December and August respectively. The A71 was available for purchase in 2020 January, while the Nova 5T was available for purchase in September of 2019. The A71 is currently going for 2,499 Ghana cities, while the Nova is going for 1,888 Ghana cities. The A71 is a little bit higher than that of the Nova 5T. Let's break it down to see what the boat have to offer. The first thing we're going to talk about is the design. The A71 has a plastic body and a glass front which is a Gorilla Glass 3 and weighs about 179 grams. The Huawei Nova 5T on the other hand has a glass body and a glass front and weighs 174 grams. When it comes to the feel, the Nova is fairly small so very comfortable to hold, it's easy to reach the top. The A71 on the other hand is pretty huge, but the software compensates for this with one-handed mode. I don't really have a problem with this because I have long fingers and I really appreciate huge screens. When it comes to physical features, both have the volume worker and power button on the right, the Nova has a fingerprint sensor inside its power button, a dual SIM card here on the left, the Nova has no SD card support, a USB Type-C, a single firing speaker, a microphone and a headphone jack on the bottom, the Nova got rid of its headphone jack. At the top, they both have a secondary microphone for noise cancellation. In addition, the Nova has an AR blaster, a proximity sensor and a notification LED situated right under the front speaker. This is really sleek. At the back, you can find a quad camera setup on both devices. We're going to get a little bit more into this later on in the video. Now let's get to those displays. The Nova has an LCD panel at 6.28 inches at a 1080p resolution with a pixel density of 412. The Samsung Galaxy A71 has a Super AMOLED display at 6.7 inches with a 1080p resolution with a PPI of 398. The Super AMOLED display is absolutely stunning. True blacks, punchy colors. The LCD panel is also decent too, absolutely okay for consuming content on the go. Not to forget that Samsung Galaxy A71 has an optical fingerprint sensor located right on the display. Now let's dive a little deeper into the phones. Under the hood, we have a massive 4500 mAh battery found in the A71, a Snapdragon 730 chipset, an octa-core CPU, Adreno 618 GPU, I have with me the 6GB variant and 128GB of storage. The Nova, on the other hand, has a high silicon carrier 980 chipset, an octa core CPU, Mali G76 MP10 GPU, 8GB of RAM, and 128GB of storage. Both devices are currently running Android 10 with One UI 2.0 on A71 and EMUI 10 on Nova 5T. Let's perform some basic app opening tests to see which one actually is faster in normal day use.
When it comes to sound from both devices, I kind of like both of them. They weren't the loudest, they can't actually fill a room, it's not that loud, but they were okay. The low ends were a little bit there, the high ends were all there, the mid range was okay. So I kind of like the sound from both devices if you ask me. So when it comes to security, the Nova 5T has a fingerprint sensor tucked right into its power button. It's fast, like it's that fast and really secure. It also has the Face ID which I don't really tend to use a lot because the fingerprint sensor normally opens the phone even before I get to look at it. The Samsung Galaxy A71 on the other hand has an optical fingerprint sensor located on the screen. So it's amazing, I like innovation, it's not the fastest but it's faster than my A51 so it's great. It also has Face ID but I tend to use the in-display fingerprint sensor. Now let's talk about those cameras. On the A71, we have a 64 megapixel as the main shooter, a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, a 5 megapixel macro sensor, a 5 megapixel depth sensor, and a 32 megapixel selfie camera. On the Nova, we have a 48 megapixel main shooter, a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor, a 2 megapixel macro sensor, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, and a 32 megapixel selfie camera. When it comes to the video department, the A71 shoots at 4K 30 frames per second, while the selfie camera shoots at 1080p 30 frames per second. The Nova on the other hand shoots at 4K 30 frames per second and the selfie camera also shoots at 1080p 30 frames per second. These are sample footages shot with both cameras. So when it comes to the pictures, I actually noticed the pattern. The Nova 5T normally has natural looking colors. Sometimes the pictures turn out to be a little bit over sharpened, but that's okay. The Samsung Galaxy A71 on the other hand has more saturated colors and sometimes doesn't really depict what it looks like in real life. But I know this is subjective, some people might like it, some might not, so I'm going to throw more pictures on the screen so you decide for yourself. So this is me trying the front camera on both devices. Um, so far I kind of like how they look, the colors look okay. Um, the Huawei looks natural, more natural. The Samsung looks like it's kind of smoothing in my face. So it depends, which one do you like? Let me know which one you like in the comment section. What about the sound too? Let me know which one you like, how it sounds. Let's get back to it. So all in all, let's try and summarize everything. The Nova 5T is pretty small, it's really handy, it has an LCD panel, it has one of the fastest chipsets out there, so when it comes to performance, it is a little beast. The Samsung Galaxy A71 on the other hand, it's pretty huge, the Super AMOLED display is amazing, that I really like. Both devices are really capable devices. When it comes to performance, I'm going to lean a little bit more to the Nova 5T. When it comes to the screen, I'm going to lean to the Samsung Galaxy A71. Let me know which one you like. Considering the price differences, let me know which one you like. Leave your comments view in the comment section. I'm always hanging out with you. This brings us to the end of the video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Turn on post notifications so you get notified the next time I upload a video. Thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, adios. I'm dropping, I'm dropping